<laughs> the new look centers on fashion designers as they navigated the horrors of World War II and launched mo modern fashion. The 10-part series is led by two powerhouses, Emmy winner Ben Mendelsohn as Christian Dior and Academy Award winner Juliette Binoche as Coco Chanel. Take a look. Christian Dior ruined French couture, and I'm coming back to save it. For those of us who lived through the chaos of war, creation was survival. The legend of Coco Chanel, if people only knew. Are you happy with the revolution you started? There is the truth. But there is always another truth that lives behind it. Oh, and Ben and Juliet are with me now. Welcome to both of you. Thank you, Thank you so Thank you much. so much for coming in on a snow day. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that's <laughs> really big. But let me tell you, I, I was in at Dior and Chanel, but this is so much more than fashion, a story about fashion designers. Ben, why don't you tell us, you know, how you describe it? Well, I, it's, it's actually, it's, uh, it, so it's Nazi-occupied Paris. Uh, the, the mighty Coco Chanel, Christian Dior. But really, the thing is, it's, it's kind of more like a thriller. It just sort of, you, you pass through the door and it will drag you through. It's the yeah. same creator as Bloodline. Which, which I had no idea, but now it makes sense. Yes. Yeah. So, and, uh, and, uh, and Todd Kessler, he knows, he, he really knows how to make a story, you know? So. Yeah, for sure. And what an incredible cast. I mean, I'm just saying. But Julia, I heard that you read like 12 books to get ready for this. Yeah. Like, what do you think it is? How do you capture Coco Chanel? Well, I needed to read those books because there have been so many things said about Chanel. Chanel, dark as light ones. Yeah. And so I wanted to uh, to have my feelings mm. and um, to find a common denominator between those books. Yeah. And also we had those you know scripts coming, and I was amazed by Coco Chanel's life. Yeah. It was like she she went through a, a thousand lives. Yeah. And so it's a very specific period of time. What we saying, you know, the, yeah. the story we have in the show which is yeah, towards the end of the war and after the war. So it's specific, but I need to have all the lives before. So yeah. I need to read all, all those books. And you did as well. Some yeah, research, well, right? how much did you know about Christian Dior? I, I, knew, I knew nothing. I mean, I knew, you know, there's a store and it's called Dior. And, uh, but I knew nothing about him. I have to say, of, uh, in 40 years of doing this, it, he's the character that I love the most. Really? Uh, yeah, I think he's a really beautiful... I think he's an extraordinary you person. Too. And yeah. I... I love his um, his sensitivity, his um, his uh, incredible shame and uh, stuff, and that he navigates his path through. But they have very different paths. I mean, uh, Coco is the the absolute reigning, and you know, and you say one name of fashion, you say Chanel, yeah. there it is, you yeah. know. But we come into this in a period of time where um, where, where Christian really gets a break, and and boom, and he goes, and yeah. he basically you know owns the world, drops the mic and uh, the new look is on. Yeah, Sh the new Shante, look. Shante, Shante. <laughs> Wait, but I heard that the executive producer was reading the biography, told you a little bit about him, and then you said, when do we start? I mean, he said one line. He said one line to me. Yeah, he was making pizza at my place, and he turned around and said, oh, I've, been, I've, read, I've just been reading Christian Dior's autobiography, and he talks about his personal self and then his public self, and he talks about how much he hates himself for not being able to be his personal self yeah. when he's out there in public. And I said... That's it. Well, so when do we do it? When do we yeah, do it? Yeah, yeah. And waited for five years. And the the, oh, the impossible years. dream of like like this. This was like the, so this is like you know it's like playing fantasy football and then getting the <laughs> real like the real. Oh my yeah. my my! I, I can't say the words because it, it, it you will have to cut me off the air. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Wait, so what, did it take five years to get you on board? What was your reaction when you read the script initially? Uh, I, that's why I wanted to read so many books. Yeah. But, uh, what I was fascinated by is to see the differences between Dior and, and Coco Chanel. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that he came from a very wealthy family and he was more of a door painter. as She came from, from a very poor family and was more a sculptor. Yeah, and you know, at the time and she was ruthless too. Like, oh yes, do anything to. She was a survivor, yeah. and both of them were survivors yeah. and re resilient yeah. because you have to adapt with the situation because it was the toughest time, you know, during the war that you didn't know when it was going to stop. You didn't know yeah. how to survive, and 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 Chanel stopped 
her boutique, you know, at the be yeah. beginning of the war, as Dior worked with uh, Lucien Lelon, who, who was working during the war. Yeah. So there are very kind of comparisons. You see the two destinies trying to fight for their yeah, resilience and and, uh, I feel and like life, family life yeah. as well. For family life. I feel like you learn a lot about the fashion designers, but you learn a lot about just history in general in, oh, in yeah. this show. It is so good. You must yeah. watch it. You yeah. can catch the new look when it hits Apple TV Plus tomorrow. Thank you both so much. Get Thank home you safely. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you so much.